All right, so this next test is going to be for gastrocnemius. So as you can see from our positioning, we're gonna have our body lying in prone. Again, his leg is gonna be off the table. This is a really important part because if you started with a leg on the table, they would already be in plantar flexion. So we want the ankle to be hanging off the end of the table so it can be in a bit of a neutral position. So for gastrox, what I'm gonna have him do is fully plantar flex and then bend his knee. We don't need it to go all the way up to 90 degrees because gastrox is no longer really functioning, but we can leave it around here for its end. Okay, so I'm gonna have him do that one more time, plantar flex and then flex. Okay, so for the brake test for this one, we're gonna be using a long lever. So he's gonna have his leg up off the table, so we want some clearance here. But the primary thing that Gastrox does is plantar flexion. So I'm gonna be holding above at a long as hamstrings, but my primary focus is gonna be trying to get him into dorsiflexion. So he's doing a good job of holding that. And three, two, one. So again, that's for a full five second count. And now I'm gonna ask him to plantar flex for me, plantar flex, and now bend your knee. Bend your knee, keep going, keep going, and good. So there was the concentric for that one. Now, because gastroc flexes the knee and plantar flexes and the ankle, we're gonna have his knee in extension. So we've already started there. And for this, I'm going to take him into dorsiflexion. I want you guys to make sure that you're not extending the toes and that we're focusing more on that midfoot or forefoot as we go into dorsiflexion. I know that you would have learned that you usually actively have the person do dorsiflexion first, but this is just a length assessment for we're doing this all completely passive. So there is the length assessment for gastrox.